What is up guys? I am going to give you a little pantry tour. Um, I always find this type of content so interesting <laughs> because I don't know, it gives you inspiration of like what you could have in your pantry. And I probably am the perfect person for showing a pantry tour because I am team always full pantry. So um, basically what that means is uh, very rarely do I run out of things. I usually will know if something's running low, I'll go ahead and order it. I like having multiple things of some things, so like two, two maple syrups and two ketchups. And usually again, when that's running low, I'll go ahead and reorder. So I love my pantry and one day I will have the pantry of my dreams. Only one shelf is like my dream organization. I will eventually have all of this fully organized. So you are seeing it fresh, real life, not curated. Um, and just know that a pantry of my dreams is coming. But anyways, let me show you what I got. Okay, so starting up here on the first shelf, these are basically all these crackers, to be honest. Um, I've tried, I'm actually not a fan of these, but they were like the only option, I think, where I was going. So I was so hungry, I was like, let's do it. So I got all my crackers, um, again, multiple boxes. Um, they, these jovial acorn crackers are fantastic. Apple sauces, three wishes, more cereal blow. Um, not a crazy fan of these, but again, just like to try Hugh Kitchen. So these are all of our crackers. This is like a little snack basket, which there's probably, I knew that there were things fine there. Um, so these are things like apple sauces, our sea snacks, different bars for the kids. I'll fix that later. Like these beef chips, ch chomps beef sticks. I usually will <laughs> throw in there. Going down to this next one, this shelf is insane, you guys. So do not judge. Do not judge. Um, but these are all of our chips and popcorns. So our Lessel Evil popcorn, gluten-free pretzels, of course, Siete. Like, always we'll have Siete. Um, my kids aren't the best at folding them either. That drives me nuts. As you can see, more chocolate chips because we're a little low and I need to refill my container. Um, there's Thrive Market plantain chips, avo uh, sea salt, avocado oil, potato chips. So basically all your chips. Also Canyon Bakehouse gluten-free bread. I feel like my kids just ravaged this part so it looks way crazier than it usually does. And then here is um, some cereals. I love Three Wishes, one of my favorites. And then the kids do love having these gluten-free pillows. They're not like the quote unquote healthiest, but oh, they're amazing. All of this is supplements, so I'm not going into that crazy section. Taking a step down, we this is my dream shelf. And I, one day my pantry's all gonna be this. But these are our, all of our major flowers coconut sugar, there's baking cocoa, chia seeds, oats, tapioca, goji berries, craisins, gluten-free 101 flour. Um, there's the raisins, cacao nibs, powdered sugar, coconut. There's our chocolate chip seeds kind of getting low. So that's like one of my favorite things. These are pumpkin seeds. Um, one of my favorite things about doing these glass jars is that you can see them. So I know just from the look of it, we're running low on chocolate chips and cacao nibs are actually being delivered. Over here, we have our fresh produce. Yes, these plantains really need to be cooked. Um, so like our dates, bananas, sweet potatoes, onions, tomato, etc. And eventually this, will, this whole shelf will be this. Okay, moving down below. Okay, <laughs> seems crazy. So here's a lot of our vinegars. So there's oils, like coconut oil back there. Here's some of my husband's like curry sauces. These I bought a ton from Rive Market. These are the shirataki noodles. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of them, but they're really good and they're basically like nothing, like no fat, like barely carbs, but most of it's fiber. Um, so those, um, homemade vinaigrette, but these are all like balsamic vinegars, 
Um, I love this Texas Hill Country olive oil. Dude, their balsamic vinegars with all the flavors. <laughs> They're so good, you guys. Um, like just oils, red wine vinegar, balsamic vinegar, coconut aminos, apple cider vinegar. So you can just kind of see that these are like the vinegar section. And then going over here is like condiments. So we have our ghee, we have honey mustard, maple syrup, ketchup, ketchup, salad dressings. Um, this is, oh no, it did break. I love this dairy-free, higher quality frosting. It's made with coconut oil, so good. I make my whoopie pies with it. I will have to do a video of me making my whoopie pies if I have not done that yet. Organic jellies, buffalo sauce, you know, barbecue sauce, so condiments, condiments. So our marinara sauce. These are all, whoa, these are all basically beans right here. So black beans, pinto, kidney, etc. Maybe um, some random sometimes, that's from Thanksgiving. But here is other canned things. I am missing one thing that's coming. Ooh, canned salmon, but also canned chicken and canned tuna. So more of our canned meat section, sardines. These are our like nut butters um, and some other hot chocolate. <laughs> That was for the holidays too, but we have like our nut butters, peanut, almond, tahini sauce, some other baking stuff like powder, baking powder and soda, palm shortening and stuff back there. So that's that. Down here is more supplements, I know. And then top like plasticware. So going on this side is a noodle grain, so lots of gluten-free mac, because I love to have these on hand. Um, and they were on sale, so I bulked up. Um, brown rice pasta by Jovial, as you can see. This ramen is my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> I love this stuff so much. Yes, yes. Um, so basically pastas, and then this is a section of <laughs> my sprouted brown rice. So all these are multiple bags of sprouted brown rice, white rice, um, wild rice, etc. Um, you can see my row of bone broth by Kettle on Fire, all these nut pods, all these different flavors, coffee cake, yum. Um, row of coconut milk, actually two rows, because I also have some coconut cream. Um, a row of pumpkin puree, because it's my absolute favorite year round. I do not wait for Thanksgiving for pumpkin pie. I know, I'm crazy. Canned fruit is here. So canned pineapple, canned peaches, and then tomato sauce, diced tomatoes, all canned tomato products are right there too. And then below, this is my favorite nut pod, y'all. So I buy this by cases, the toasted marshmallow. Fire. And then these are all actually, I'm using them up. So actually, I don't know why this grain-free granola is down here supposed to be up there maybe that's where I was wondering where it is but a lot of this is bulk stuff so like big bags of sprouted oats that I'm using up because that is obviously full um same with like the one-to-one gluten-free flour by King Arthur I buy nuts usually in bulk because we use the almond cow to make cashew milk and why is that down here too <laughs> no no boom okay so um just some of the things i need to use up and just extra little coconut flour and arrowroot powder um to fill those things up when they get low and same with this bag it's just things that honestly i need to use up like green banana flour cassava flour just all my like baking flours that i either didn't have one of these for them or they're full so i'm gonna put these bags in here too and that's about it so that is my pantry i think in the grand scheme of things it is much cleaner than most people's i like to think um as you can see i'm i, I definitely like things like grouped organized um in my brain it works but like i said that one day i'm gonna have all like the glass containers and it'll be beautiful but hopefully you get some inspo of what we buy, um, what to have on hand. Cause I think one of my non-favorite things is when I want to like 
cook something last minute, like this sounds really good, let's eat it. And I go to get the ingredients and then I'm out of it. That's the worst. Even though I meal plan, I sometimes like to go off cuff and just do what sounds good. So I'm constantly prepped for that, <laughs> no matter what. I'll have to do like a fridge tour one time and a deep freezer and all that stuff. But for now, so my pantry. Leave any questions you have below and go ahead and subscribe to our channel and would love to hear from you. So see you next time.